Hello again. It is, well, you guess. What would you say? A normal February day? A brisk March day? There's no leaves on the trees yet. A disappointing day in April? Well, let's see. What's, what kind of temperatures do we have here today? Seventeen degrees with a wind chill of about fourteen. Forecast says snow squalls this afternoon with a high wind warning. It is actually May 9th. Isn't that something else? May 9th. Anyway, I was gonna do a, a one month update on my heat pump, which <laughs> So far, I've just used for heat. No air conditioning yet. Uh, you can see I did put my hail screen on top, trying to protect this thing as much as possible. And I'm gonna go back inside where it's warm and look at some power consumption for one month. Okay, I am back in the house and when I was outside, the unit is still in heat mode, but the fan and compressor and everything is not running. I'm not sure how it works, other than I can say it works marvelously. And you can see I have the temperature set for 75 degrees. I'm an old man and I don't like the cold anymore. My little pre-filter up there seems to be working very well and the inside of the unit even after a month appears to be spotless i haven't even checked the other filter uh, inside the unit everything is nice and clean so let's take a look at the power consumption for just a little over one month i had absolutely no idea what to expect i was a little apprehensive because because I was using this 24-7 for heat. This is a printout of my electrical usage from New York State Electrical and Gas for the past year. And as you can see, this is 2019 and this is 2020. And I started using the heat pump right at the beginning of April of this year right here I'm not sure what happened with their meter reader but something got a little uh, whacked out there and but the average of the two months is 412 kilowatt hours I'm not sure what happened there but in any case the average for those two months is 412 kilowatts in March when I was still burning wood I used 404 kilowatt hours of electricity in 2019 I used 433 kilowatt hours so fairly similar in April of last year I used 392 kilowatt hours of electricity and that was uh, when I was using the wood boiler this year in April I was not using the wood boiler but using the heat pump exclusively for heat and I was astonished to see that my actual electric consumption went down and I was trying to figure out why seeing that I was using the heat pump 24 7 and then it occurred to me that when I'm using the wood boiler beyond the the cost effort and everything else of burning wood I'm using three circulator pumps and then I have a combustor fan and a draft inducer and all the other electrical draws associated with my wood boiler so with that realization it really makes no sense 
to burn wood when I can use my heat pump for a realistic lower power consumption. And as I said before, I, I had no idea what to expect. Obviously, I'm thrilled to death to see these kind of numbers. When you're looking at the, the total cost of me burning wood versus using the heat pump, this 392 kilowatt hours from last year, this is just electricity. This does not reflect uh, the amount of firewood that I used. It does not include the effort to keep the wood pile restocked, keep the boiler cleaned, all the maintenance that goes into using the wood boiler. Uh, and as I get older, I'm pushing 69, it just be, it's getting more difficult to use a wood boiler. And with these comparisons, it makes no sense to use a wood boiler. But I thought that others considering a heat pump might appreciate seeing actual numbers of power consumption over a, a month period. So that's it for now. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video and have a nice day.